this video will demonstrate the service procedure required by the Takata seatbelt campaign. The bottom of the red plastic release button could chip or crack. If the release button chips, pieces could fall into the buckle, causing the buckle not to latch or unlatch properly. The campaign applies to the driver side and passenger side front seatbelt buckles. However, not every General Motors vehicle is affected. You will learn how to identify which seat belts are affected by this campaign, and you'll be shown how to perform a seat belt buckle release button replacement. Be sure to refer to the campaign bulletin for detailed information or further instructions if you have any difficulty with this operation. Your GM vehicle will require immediate replacement of the release buttons, so no inspection is necessary. Only Takata manufactured seat belts are applicable and are identified by the Takata ID mark on the buckle. When you install the new release buttons, make sure you use the appropriate button service kit color that best matches the interior of the vehicle. To replace the release buttons in the affected General Motors vehicles, first clear the area around the buckle that you are working with. Give yourself plenty of working room and place a clean cloth on the seat and center console if equipped. First note the settings on the radio or clock, then disconnect the negative side of the battery. Use a small pair of wire cutters and carefully cut the plastic outer cover along the separation line between the two halves. Insert a screwdriver into the edge of the buckle slot and pry open the two cover halves. Now be careful here, don't pry in the center of the cover with the screwdriver. The driver's side buckle has a switch assembly inside that you can damage. As you separate the two halves, you'll need to remove the switch assembly. Carefully cut the top of the three plastic pins that hold the switch assembly to the lower cover. This will allow the switch to be easily removed. Cut the bottom pin first, slide the switch down, and then cut the top two pins. Carefully pry the switch up and away from the lower cover with a small screwdriver. Next, you have to remove the plastic release button. Hold the release button down and remove the bottom loop of the latch spring. Tilt the lower portion of the release button away from the buckle assembly and remove the button. Remove any loose debris and dirt from inside the buckle assembly using dry compressed air. Be careful not to use excessive air pressure or you will dislodge the small springs on the assembly. Now install the new release button. Slide the new release button into the buckle frame. Press the button and hold it down while you attach the spring back on the latch plate. Make sure the button operates correctly. To be on the safe side, make sure that all the parts in the buckle assembly are correctly assembled. Make sure the springs are secured firmly in their proper position and the spring holder edges are in position. Then install the new upper cover to the buckle assembly. Remember, on the driver's side seat belt buckle, the switch assembly has to be placed back into the new lower cover. Insert the switch assembly into the new lower cover and gently press the top portion of the switch assembly into position. The new lower cover is designed so that the switch assembly simply snaps into place. Put the wires into the lower cover clamps. Then press the release button down and hold it in while you attach the lower cover. Press the two cover halves together until a snap is heard. Then reconnect the battery. Now check the seat belt buckle operation to be sure the tongue latches firmly and that the release button releases the tongue. Do this five or six times to make sure it all works correctly. Also check that the seat belt warning lamp on the instrument panel works properly. If you have trouble with the latch operating correctly, again follow the instructions in the campaign bulletin. Install the campaign label on the radiator core support after you're finished. And don't forget to apply the protective clear covering on the campaign label. Remember to reset the clock and radio settings back to where they were before. And that's all there is. 
always follow the instructions in the campaign bulletin and this video. Follow the same procedure for the passenger side when you do the replacement there. By performing this procedure correctly, you'll ensure a safe and proper seatbelt operation for the life of the vehicle.